Yo, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Uh, what we're doing today, uh, we are just fitting a loft light, simple as that, but there's a little issue, we don't know if you call it an issue. Customer tried to fit a loft light himself first, he cut into a lighting feed in the loft, uh, done his loft light, it didn't work, so he thought I'll get an electrician to come and do it, so he just took all the light and the switch back out, reconnected the, the the cable that he cut back up with some wagos or something and now none of the lights upstairs work so we're fitting the loft light and obviously we're going to get the lights working upstairs so we'll take you along for the little journey and we can find out what the issue is because i've not seen the job i don't know what the issue is but i assume it won't be very difficult to sort out so let's go over there customer supplying all the gear i believe ryan's here now he's uh he went to the beach yesterday, sat in the sun, and now he looks like oh, he made a tomato. Why did it take me ages to think of a name again with tea? Well, just before we leave, I'm just having a little debate. Why do we think the upstairs lights are not working when all that is done? Well, obviously, I've not seen it, but all that is done is cut a cable and then rejointed it together. So, what's the reason for the upstairs now, lights not working? My guess is possibly it's actually on its own RCBO and the RCBO's tripped or when he's cut the, the cable or it's not resetting properly you know, when they, something like that. Uh, a loose connection possibly but I'm, I'm sure he would have like tried it multiple times. So I think it might be something to do with an RCD or an RCBO or something that's tripped. Or it might even be fuse wire and it's blue. <laughs> Let's find out, we'll find out, won't we? Comment, stick a comment what you think it is, but don't cheat and watch the video. First floor lights. Ah, CD. Obviously, he turned the first floor lights off, cut the cable, done it all yeah. while he's cut the cable. While we're looking that way. Because the microphone's facing that way. So while he's cut the cable, the RCD's obviously tripped. And then he's turned the first floor lights back on and not noticed. The only other thing on the RCD there is the electric shower. Which is probably uh, not been noticed just yet. Ryan's found a treasure. Oh, it's a way go. Cha ching! Right. So we're going to fit two loft lights, two battens, one over here, one on that side of the loft, switch up here and uh, we'll sort out the connections that he's done in the, the feed side. But while the, the lighting feed's back on, I'm just going to check because this one here doesn't actually work. That one does. So we're going to check, see what the crack is. He's done this in the bathroom. i put a wago on, on all them lives there so that could one of them might not be in all the way or the bulbs just gone in that room we'll find out let's have a look what he's done so we're up in the loft that's the the wire that he cut into and rejointed i think he said he did it twice he tried what one and it didn't work and then tried another one we can't see the other one i think it might be under this um somewhere let's have a look i'm sure he said he just he did do it twice yeah there it is so there's one there's another, so we'll just rejoint them back through um, and then we'll take our feed using obviously we've got a little bucket full of gear with goodies uh, we'll use the beautiful quick wire splitter so obviously we'll find a lighting feed feed in, feed out when we cut it and then we've got two spares just to take another feed off so it's a dead straightforward job, we're going to find a feed which is probably that one anyway Take a feed up to the light switch and then up to the switch, switch wire, switch wire, job done. Um, let us just do a bit of investigating, make sure we can get all the lights working first and then we'll crack on from there. Uh, no, not yet, I might be alright, I'll have a look. Right, so what we're going to do first is that, that light junction box thing there, Ryan's going to use a Wago box and just rejoint that one. The other junction box we're going to use the quick wire connector so we can take a feed from it, but We've got um, this light not working and this light not working before we've touched anything. So 
First thing we're going to do is get all the lights down here working, make sure we're all good, and then we'll do the loft lights ourselves. So I'm going to redo this properly, connect this back up, because you can't leave it in the way because it doesn't fit inside. In, bloody hell, that's tight way it goes, it doesn't fit inside. Oh, they're not proper way it goes though, are they? No, they're not. Not proper way it goes, that looks like one. Um, redo this. Put all this back together, go and check out why the other two lights are not working. Suss that out first, could just be bulbs for all we know. So we'll sort that out and then I'll catch back up with you. So this is one of the lights that doesn't work. Uh, just come and check, there is actually voltage there. Um, but obviously look at the, the light itself. But there's voltage there, so that needs sorting. Which I'll do, because I can't leave it like that. And then the only other light that wasn't working. Uh, obviously the bathroom weren't on, but I've done that. And this one wasn't working, but again, let me see if I can, as you can see, it's just a loose, loose fitting, loose bulb fitting, so I'll sort that out as well before we leave. So yeah, the actual issue that the guy had was he cut the cable when it was dead and it tripped the RCD and then he just turned back on the MCB and the RCD were still off so that was the only issue other than these two issues but that's nothing to do with the wiring uh, so we're going to start fitting these loft lights and go from there climb up in the loft Ryan so I can get in right Ryan's just putting the first baton up he's gonna have to put it sort of on an angle there uh, we like to use the four foot LED strips and stuff in the LED buttons up in lofts but that's what the customer wanted um, I think he already had the, the lights uh, like a pendant that he'd used um, but we've brought buttons have you seen these ones where they've just got the two metal pins and they just plug in rather than having the fly lid anyway that's not what i was showing you so ryan's putting that button up i'm going to change this for a quick wire which i'll show you because i love quick wire i think quick wire is like one of the best companies in the electrical market nothing like it dead innovative if that's the word innovative is it innovated or innovative ryan ryan thinks it's innovative i think it's innovative comment it below. <laughs> comment below which one it is ryan's or mine I'm just spell it the same yeah, spell it the same so quick wire stripper obviously it's got the measurement on the side of this one obviously a lot of companies make them nipex and all that but the actual quick wire one's got the measurement that you need for their own little adapter doodah so might need to just straight i might need to just snip that down actually just because uh, the earth's a bit bent on the edge Strip that down a bit, strip that off, and then you strip the whole thing that long, big long strip of it, look at them. And then you get your splitter and go live neutral earth, live earth neutral. You can see it in the little windows there. Push them all the way down and clip them in, and that's one side done. And then obviously that's going to reach that side anyway so obviously sorry if the lighting's bad we're in the loft oh, is that better ryan thought about using a light when it was dark that's pretty innovative of you ryan <laughs> wish i'd have thought of that probably just see the top of my head if you can i'm sorry get it in there till you can see the gray sheath inside the actual window push it in and that's that done and then obviously we've got two now that we can use we're not going to use two we're going to use one so i'll close that one and we're just going to bring another feed out of that to our light switch you, i have got some little clamps that you can clamp them onto the side of the joist with you don't need to because it's accessible but the the actual clamp is what also makes it maintenance free fully completely maintenance free um but yeah that's we're going to take a feed out of that now cable stapler dewalt stapler bring it round onto this joist for the light switch or whatever they're called and then a switch wire out over to that light and then over to that light dead straightforward basically what we've done we've run a feed this one from there around the back 
up to the switch, stapled up, and it's going on my switch here. That's the feed, the one that I've stripped so I don't lose it. And then, <coughs> basically, we're just going to wire both switch wires from there because it's just easier. One of them switch wires going, runs down the back, stapled along there, stapled up there, and goes to this button. And then the other one does the same thing, runs down there, and it's on a button on the other side of this. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite big on the other side of that, but... So that's that. This just needs stapling in here and connecting up. Strip fully, turn it the right way. And that's our feed done. So now we've got a feed to that switch there and we'll uh, start to connect that up, which is also dead easy. Nice and easy job. Other than it is uh, I'm boiling and I am soaking wet, just sweating up here. Obviously, neutrals are just free neutrals again, same as the earths. And then, oh, we've got permanent feed and two switch wires, basically, doubled up. Just so we weren't wiring back on ourselves, really, there's no point. I know which one the feed is, because I've doubled that one over. Uh, and then, obviously, the other two are not doubled over, so... That's the switch sorted. Thought I'd just show you this uh, button. You don't seem like this very often. I'm putting this button on this one. Um, again, sorry about the bad lighting. I'm in the loft. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the. This is a crab tree button, by the way. Um, so obviously you've got your earth neutral switch wire and loop, and then you've got a neutral and live pins there, which that just then pushes into, clicks in, and instead of having the little the little flexy leads hanging off them, I'm going to start fitting this in. I'll show you that in a minute. So, say so that's that done, live neutral earth, and then that thing just just gotta make sure you get them both in. That's it, plumped in, and that's that done. Obviously, you can easily remove that sticking a screwdriver in the side. And that is that job done. Uh, nice little switch there, and obviously. There's one on the other side of that as well, which you can't see, but yeah, lights up that area quite nicely. So, it's pretty, pretty simple, straightforward video. I'm absolutely ringing wet, been in the loft for about 40 minutes and that's it, and just dripping. Not a good start to your Friday morning. Anyway, lovely little job. The fault was just an RCD that I tripped. So it's extremely simple, but obviously we've redone these giant boxes in a much better way now. Um, so should should the customer have uh, got me anyway? Comment down below what you may think. Anyway, I'm all for a bit of encouraging DIY. Uh, I think people should all have a have a bit of a go at anything. To be honest, I know I shouldn't probably say that as an electrician, but yeah, I think people should should have a go at a bit of DIY how you learn. Anyway, can your camera do this? <laughs>